Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating to you a really cool microphone, very kindly sent in to me by Genesis. Uh, Genesis have uh, been really good to the channel lately, sending in lots of products to review and I, I really like featuring them for a couple of reasons really. One, they're really good quality and secondly, uh, they offer up such exceptional value for money. I've reviewed some of their keyboards, mice, I reviewed one of their USB microphones previously and today I've got another USB mic I'm going to be showing you. Uh, let's just uh, pull the box round to show you what this looks like. This is their Radium 400, it's a studio microphone, connects via USB, so plug and play. And uh, there's so many people doing uh, content creation nowadays and a lot of people streaming as well and when you're starting it can be very expensive and I think that this offers up really exceptional value for money especially considering here you're not only getting the studio microphone but you're also getting everything else you need to mount that microphone on your desk so let me just pop the box over the back here oh I must just uh, also mention this is a live broadcast of course so if you're watching live and you've got any questions or comments throughout the video please do use the live chat if you're watching afterwards you can use the uh, regular uh, comment section below. So let me show you what you get inside this kit first of all. Of course it includes a microphone but you get this uh, nice box first of all. Inside here we have got a clamp. Let's just get this clamp out of the box. All right, everything's really packed nicely in uh, foam uh, padding. So this is going to clamp onto your desk. Uh, so this portion goes, this is where your desk goes. Uh, this bit here allows you to tighten everything up and then this bit here tightens the arm that you're going to insert into this hole on the top. That works extremely well. Now into that you will actually attach this. So this goes into the hole on top of the mount. Uh, this end here is where you're going to mount the microphone and then this is like an arm. You have to be very careful with these because they're spring uh, you, they're, they're controlled by springs and they can sort of ping out. I have been hit in the head by one of these previously when I was setting one up. Not this particular one, uh, one from another manufacturer. But this allows you to have your microphone on an arm that you can swing in and out and adjust to multiple angles and it just works extremely well. It's really nicely made. Um, the, the gauge of the material, I mean, it's perfectly strong enough for the microphone it's not quite as thick a gauge as some of the um, microphone arms I've used from other manufacturers but it is adequate and it certainly gets the job done it's powder coated in this nice black finish as well so let's just pop that back in there now next up you have got this this is a shock mount this attaches to the end of that arm and then you're going to insert your microphone in here and what this does is it sort of suspends the microphone uh, inside its own sort of cage so it's sort of almost as though it's floating and what this means is that if you've got anything that's going to touch the desk or uh, any sort of vibrations that might find their way into your audio uh, this helps dissipate them and keep them out of your audio you've got various bits on here to angle the microphone of course and again this just works extremely well it's very very well made so that you get that so, so that allows you to mount your microphone the microphone I'm using at the moment is Rode NT USB and I've got it on a similar arm so it just allows you to very similar arm it just allows you to um, position your microphone wherever you want it and I normally put my microphone just out of the frame so you don't get to see it but it's just just off camera so that's what that arm allows you to do now in addition to that so there's more you do get a quick installation guide just here you also get a foam windshield for the microphone and you also get a pop shield uh, this goes in front of the microphone and stops any of those p sort of sounds coming through any of those sort of really annoying sounds that our voices and our mouths naturally make when we expel air as we're talking it mainly picks up in the p sort of sounds this will stop that. Um, I think it's a dual skin one. So it's like on here there's a netting. On the front there's a netting with the Genesis logo. And then it's got this uh, bendy arm. And then this attaches to um, the arm near the microphone. So nice that you get a pop shield as well. 
You also get a USB cable. You just pop this out of the way. Pop the pop shield out of the way. Uh, instructions which I already mentioned. You get, a, you get a USB cable, quite a long cable. I think it's about a two metre long cable. And then you get the microphone itself. And this is the actual microphone. I'm going to switch over to the audio on this very shortly. It says Radium 400 on one side, uh, Genesis on the other side. Um, this is metal. This is metal, I believe, as well. Plastic on the bottom, USB connection on the bottom. And then you get a USB A type cable to connect into your computer. And I've got it plugged in over the back here. So I think without further ado, we should listen to how this sounds. So let me just mute my current microphone. And now the audio you're hearing is actually coming from the uh, Radium 400 from Genesis. I'm just going to put the levels up a tiny bit on my mixer just to make sure it's coming through loud and clear. So now you should be able to hear this a little bit clearer. Uh, it's a very nice sounding microphone. I did some tests into this and recorded a little bit of audio uh, last week into GarageBand uh, and it sounded nice and clear. I think it's a, a very good microphone and when you see the price and indeed I've left links down in the video description to where you can pick this up for yourself when you see the price of this you'll see that it's very attainable and very affordable and not only does it look the part but it also sounds in, in my opinion very good as well. Uh, some of the uh, higher frequencies uh, drop off a little bit in the detail but certainly regular sort of uh, vocal recording so if you're doing podcasting if you're doing streaming alongside gaming for example you're doing live broadcasting like me something like this is a very good option and don't forget in with that package you're getting all those other bits that I showed you earlier in this video the uh, articulating arm the mount like the shock mount also the pop shield and also that foam uh, shield as well. I think it's a, a really good option. I think it's um, absolutely fantastic value for money as are uh, all of the Genesis products I reviewed previously on the channel. So what I'm going to do now is actually just mute this and move back over to my regular road microphone. And I just want to pop this on. I didn't want to put this on while the mic was active. But let's just pop this uh, foam shield on very quickly. It shouldn't make any difference when you're in a studio situation, uh, but let's just see if this makes any difference to the audio. And you let me know in the comment section below what you think of the audio quality. So we've now got that in place. Let's switch over to the other microphone again. So we're now back on this microphone, the Genesis Radium 400. Uh, this might have cut down on the levels a little bit, but it means that you can get the microphone nice and close to your mouth and talk a little bit quieter it should pick up less ambient noise as well uh, and I think it's just a uh, really nice that they include this in the package uh, so this is what the Genesis Radium 400 microphone sounds like uh, I want to thank you all for watching uh, before I do um, before I do end this broadcast Raymond Moore has just asked do I need an audio interface or mixer to get the best audio out of a microphone that is a very good question so at the moment I'm not using any sort of mixer or audio interface this is USB going directly into my computer and the only way I can control the audio levels is with my trackpad which is just off screen here it's just let me just pop it into shot so you can just see it so I've got my trackpad uh, just here on the desk let's pop it up there and the only way I can control the levels on this microphone is by using on-screen controls so I can put the levels right down on my software uh, or I can pop them uh, back up to roughly where they were before so to control the levels I'm having to interact with my computer uh, if I wasn't using my OBS broadcasting software at the moment I'd be doing this at system level so I'd go into system preferences and I'd have to adjust the level inside system preferences this is what you have to do with a USB microphone you're plugging it in plug and play into your computer and controlling the levels on your computer screen if you had an XLR microphone uh, then you would use it with an audio interface I happen to have an audio interface just here and this allows you to control the levels with rotary dials so having an audio interface just gives you more hands-on control rather than you having to use software uh, is one better than the other? Well, professionals would say an audio interface is better because it's given you much better controls and maybe better preamps as well. 
whereas USB is relying on the microphone itself and your computer circuitry to deliver the sound. So I hope that makes sense. You don't need one. You don't need one. But to get the sort of best audio out of an XLR microphone, you will need an audio interface. But with a USB one like this, it's just plug and play and control it on the screen. It's very simple, quick and easy to get up and running. And still you get great quality audio. So anyway, that is it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in another video very very soon.